who, who became educated, who went to Abu Sand for, we are only very few. I remember in our class, we had only four girls, and those were the first educated girls who came as far as Sand for. And out of those four, only when one went with us to training, teacher's training. So it's Mr. I mean, Miss Margaret, who, who, who Angel was called. Uh, but this time, is she for, living now? She is still living. Yes, she is married by Johan. Uh, Johan of Mendunga. I don't know where. I think it, she, they should be in Chitilabo working there. Yes, if you, if you ask this, someone like. Uh, Someone from Munilunga, you may know where they are. I see the first teacher, a woman teacher in this province. And, uh, but this time we find a lot of girls in secondary school. I was very happy to see, when I went to Balabali, see that there were a lot of girls in secondary school, some doing from five, and many at uh, Wukinge, some even in Agun. As far as uh, university, we are very happy. We are very happy indeed. My own child, my own girl, is doing from two at Mukinga. I hope we she will do well. The last possible question I can think, I'm afraid I've worn you out, but uh, is when you went to Kamapanda in the 40s to teach and Kanangesha, you mentioned the roads being bad. Did you have to walk the whole way? Or did you go via Sowesi by road? When I went to, to Kamapanda the first time, I had to walk from Chitokoloki to Chavuma. We went via Chavuma. Chavuma then into Angola through Kalunda to Kamapanda. Walking several days. And it took me uh, a week and a half to reach Kamapanda. On uh, some of the, the holidays, I had to come through this uh, back road here from Kamapanda um, through Chiwochiwoma and uh, come here. There was uh, no transport at that time. Well, now you say back road, was it a road or was it just a path at that time? No, it was a road. It was a road, yeah. Oh, well, that time was a pass, I'm sorry, it was just a pass, but now it's the road. Yes. Mm. Thank you very much. Yes. You, there's nothing else you'd like to add, then? You? Yeah, at present, yeah. All right. Thank you very much, indeed. And very good. Mr. Sayula, it's now about half eleven. We just thought of a few more questions after replaying. The first question is, could you make a comment on how important was the teacher in the older days, the thirties and the forties, in relation firstly to the community, secondly to the missionaries, and thirdly to government yes. officials. Uh, the teacher, let me first of all um, say to the community, the teacher was regarded to be a very, very important man at the time, because he happened to be the teacher of their children and they happened to be someone getting some money and they was a bit clean, more clean than other people. Now he was highly respected by the people in the community. But coming to the missionaries, uh, let me put them together, missionaries and the government, that time because the 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 people who were running the missionaries, the, the mission stations, and the, the bombers were Europeans. This Calabar business uh, worked very hard that the teacher found himself in a very bad or um, a very awkward situation. He was mistreated. He was not in the regarded as any, anything at all. Out 
But Said with the people was very important. But when he came to the, the missionaries, when he came to the government officials, he was just an ordinary person. He was not allowed to, to stay in the house, to take tea, to take tea from the missionaries, even to drink from their cups. So this was the, the thing which made uh, a lot of young men fear to join as teachers. It was only through forcing that missionaries tried to force some Christians. Mostly the teachers were Christians because they had to obey. But uh, a lot of those children who were not uh, Christians, not like the teaching profession, they took it as a very simple job. Can you think of any uh, government official or missionary that was the exception in this case? Did it, or was this true for everyone in the, in the older period? This cut of bar, so for everyone. I was talking about Mr. Sackler being very good, helpful to people, but even then, in his own home, um, he could not, uh, I mean, uh, stay together with the Africans. Probably, let me say, his, uh, his wife probably made uh, him. Without this, I think he would. He was very good at at, at first, before he, mar he was married, be here. He, had to wait, he was to sleep with Africans, when on the journey and so on. But after marriage, he was changing a bit and uh, could not uh, actually uh, come together uh, as uh, uh, equal uh, human beings. No, he loved them as just Africans. Yes, just to help them. In other words, not social. Not the social, yes. no. It's Krishna and Christianity, mm. that's all. Yes, religiously. Thank you, yes. Mm. Now, the other question is, before we ask about your family, which we forgot, was you mentioned something about boarding fees that yes. were very low and sometimes accept other things. Could yes. you make a comment? The boarding fee at that time was very low at Chitokoloki. Uh, I remember the first boarding fee we paid there was one and the ticket or one and the three pence for the whole year for each of us. Later it was increased to one and a six, then to seven and a six. Uh, until I finished this. I, I paid my seven and six once only, seven and six once. Uh, seeing that the the area was a poor area, Mr. Sakileng was kind enough to to receive even eggs or anything in the, just in the form of uh, say some some parents we were allowed to bring so even uh, some wood to help so many children so so these people many many children are enrolled in the boarding school. Fine. Well, thank you very much. Now, may, well, may, a comment maybe on your family now. What you'd like to say, how you yes. met your wife and how met your children. So, yes. Just a quick comment. Uh, while at Stokoloki, I proposed a girl and uh, thinking after my um, my training, I would uh, marry her. Uh, I went to Kamapanda and then uh, stayed in Kamapanda for some time. I wrote back to, to ask you about this girl, Mr. Late Mr. Sackley told me she was still young. And then uh, while we were at Kamapanda there, I came across a, a, a certain girl, a very nice girl. Uh, the name of Betty and this one attracted me. I asked it the father and the mother if I would be allowed to marry her. They of course agreed and then in 
January 1943, uh, I married Betty. And uh, we have now seven children, uh, six of whom are boys. And uh, our stay with Peter has been a very nice stay, very helpful, just been very helpful. And uh, I'm proud that I am uh, a husband. You're a lucky man. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. Uh, w would your wife like to come over and uh, say something? Well, I'll, we'll put it right here, and she can make it. Maybe she would like. To, she can either see, she can speak in Linda if she likes, and just tell you how she met you. Maybe. Maybe. Let's see. Yes, it's playing. Yes. I'm going to have to go to the hospital. I'm going to have to go to the hospital. I'm going to have to go to the to Nasaka <laughs> Limpin <laughs> Little one, it now is he, 